This is for Rob's homemade life. He made some tofu pizza the other day. Now I don't have a panini grill, so I'm just gonna do it in my frying pan and I'm gonna put it in the oven on broil once I get uh, once I get the tofu dehydrated a little bit or dewatered a little bit. It is it's a little still wet. Um, and of course I'm going to uh, dewater the tomatoes that will be going on it. And of course you can't have tofu pizza without bacon grease. <laughs> so I've got other ingredients. I got my mozzarella cheese, got my pepperoni, got some onions, and that's part of my tomato. And I put a little uh, ragu on there just for pizza sake. So I'm gonna let this dewater a little bit and come back and once I flip it and get it dewatered a little bit uh, I'll show you the rest. Alright, <laughs> it took a while but uh, I uh, I froze these and uh, Rob said to freeze them to get the water out of them and so I did that and it did get a little more water out of them but I had to really fry them for a while and um, see if you can hear the, uh, the crust on it. it. Took a while to get them to crust up like that because there's just so much water. Uh, they're probably an inch longer than um, they used to be. Or they're an inch smaller than they used to be. So let's uh, start with a spoon. A little sauce. Just a little. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the oven to uh, crisp up the toppings, but the bottoms should be crisp enough. Just a spoon full because I got mean maters. Now this is definitely not how uh, Rob makes them. So they got they got my twist on it. A little cheese on it. Not too much. Now Rob cut them in smaller slices and I know why now because uh, they're it's it's kind of crumbly. So trying to cut them in bigger slices was not very uh, easy to do. Got some bacon. The problem with tofu is that it's pretty tasteless, so you gotta definitely augment it with uh, more flavor, you know what I mean? Put it on there like that. And now my onions. I like the onions on top because um, the oven will uh, caramelize them and they're real thin. Alright, All right, my oven is ready. Ready, Freddy? Yeah. Might throw a little more cheese on top. There we go. All right. Now, being that it is a, um, it's a metallic handle, I could put this right in the oven. And I would say, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes at 400 degrees. We'll be back. Almost forgot the secret ingredient. And some for me. Um, okay. Moment of the truth here. <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Will you just look at that? Will you just look at that? Okay. <laughs> so I don't burn my face off. Uh, let's let it cool down and we'll have a taste test. Well, it looks like baking them really got the uh, the tofu to shrink up a little bit even more and got even thinner. So let's uh, break into the non-special one. Uh, bottom's a little, and they are crispy. Bottom's a little dark, but that's good. That means it's crisp, crisp up a little bit. Texture is a little weird. It's like a crumbly cracker. Not a big fan of that texture, but everything else is good. Um, I guess if you're on like a gluten-free diet it's a good substitute for low carb but I don't know that texture is just not doing it for me so bit by here It's crispy on the outside, but chewy. Hmm. No, oh, maybe I didn't do it right. <clears throat> Let's see if you can hear a punch. It's okay. <clears throat> the frying really got it to crisp up, but before that it was really spongy. Mm. Alright, let's try the uh, the thicker one with my secret ingredient. It was pretty warm. Alright, here we go. This one's a little better. If you make it thicker, it's not as chewy. Secret ingredient makes it better. Hmm. Not too bad. Um. Overall. Um. For what it is. It's good. Would I prefer it over regular bread? Or say even uh, like a tortilla or something? Nah, not really. And um, not to mention, tofu's kind of expensive. I can't remember, it was like $3 or something for that block. And buy a whole loaf of bread for two bucks. Mm. Really weird. You got the crunchy on the outside, and then after it crunches, it gets chewy. And it's kind of bland. <clears throat> I 
It makes a good substrate. It's maybe just a piece of the tofu. Yeah. Um. The tofu reminds me of like water soaked bread. This is kind of there. It's texture. It has no taste. Alright. <clears throat> well. I'm glad. <laughs> I put a lot of other stuff on top of it. But, eh, you know, you don't know unless you try. So, uh, go check out Rob's Homemade Life. He's got a lot of interesting stuff. Um, like I said, if you're on a special diet or something, and uh, you can't eat, like, regular bread, or you're trying to reduce the calories, definitely don't put all the stuff I put on it. But, you know, you can put sun-dried tomatoes on it. Um, you might be able to use... Um, uh, cheese made with skim milk or something, uh, some kind of cheese substitute. Um, for uh, you can put onions on there. That's good. Mushrooms are good. I ran out of mushrooms, otherwise I'd be putting mushrooms on there. Um, but for what it is, it's okay. It's okay. And I'll even give it a little cowbell. All right. So thanks, Rob. Later, I'll come on.